Hi, and welcome to Meals Ready to Eat. I'm your host, Sean Patterson, and today we're making one of my all-time favorites, pasta bolognese. Well, one of the things I like about pasta bolognese is it's simple. It's how you imagine real Italian food should be. And it does take a while, but it's absolutely worth the wait. Main ingredients include meat, ground meat of your choice, red onion or white onion, carrot, olive oil, garlic, bay leaves, black pepper, and crushed cloves. I want to take a moment, of course, and uh, especially thank uh, my good uh, longtime friend Gaetano Di Paola from Sicily, who gave me sort of the startings of this recipe. One of the things that he recommends, and I do too, is that you use real San Marzano uh, plum tomatoes imported from Italy. They come in a 20 ounce can typically that you can find at the store. And uh, to make it a little bit extra tomatoey, uh, I like to add some tomato paste. So you're first going to start by chopping the garlic and then uh, chopping the, the onion uh, pr pretty finely, but, but not mincing by any means, just a, a simple dice. Now I want to take a moment and talk about the meat. You can actually add more than just hamburger. Uh, you can add um, bacon, works really well in addition to the hamburger. You can uh, also add prosciutto, that is really tasty with a hamburger. You could even add venison, um, pancetta, which is Italian bacon, is also a good thing to add. So what you're going to do is you're going to heat up some olive oil, first of all, uh, into a, a, a big stock pan, and you're going to add the garlic. Cook that through a little bit, then add the onion, and cook that through until it's translucent. Then, little by little, uh, in little almost meatball size uh, chunks, you're going to add the meat. You're going to cook that through until it, it's still just a little bit pink, but not uh, completely cooked. And then at that point, you're going to add the bay leaves, the salt and the pepper, and the pulverized clove. Once you do this, cook that through a little bit, and then you can add the juice from the uh, Italian uh, the plum tomato can. And then what you're going to do is you're going to mix that a little bit, and then you're going to squeeze by hand the plum tomatoes. Uh, this is a great uh, sort of exercise for small children if you happen to have small children. Uh, you can also, uh, if you're feeling a little bit lazy or you need to keep a clean shirt, <laughs> you can certainly add uh, all of the, the tomatoes to a blender and blend them all together. You can even add the tomato paste to the blender as well uh, to allow uh, you to cook down the sauce, you can add a, a can of the, uh, 20, the another 28 ounce can of water. You're going to cook that all through together for three hours. Uh, and you'll notice that as it cooks, uh, and you'll, you're going to want to, of course, cover it as it cooks, uh, but leave it slightly ajar. A after three hours, it's going to be cooked down, and you can toss that with some pappardelle pasta. You can use spaghetti, but I find pappardelle is much better because what happens is that with this type of a sauce, it really adheres well to the pasta. Sprinkle some uh, Parmigiano Reggiano and some uh, pink sea salt would be great. And there you have it. Nice and simple. Pasta bolognese. Bon appetit. From Meals Ready to Eat, I'm Sean Patterson.